and welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree. Uh, we normally do makeup, but I decided today we could do something a little fun. So I'm gonna take you in. So this is a garden that we've been working on since um, the beginning of last year. And we've not really been able to work on it much. We did get it started and then we got really busy and then it broke my leg. So we've not really been able to come out here until this year. So what we did this year already you can see this little gate and this fence. We put that up. The We did the gravel and the mulch last year. But we're going to update a few things, fix a few things. And actually today, we're going to go get some more plants. So I'll just kind of give you like a rundown. And I'll hopefully keep updating y'all until it's completely finished. And then y'all can see the finished product. Hopefully there's not too many noises going on out here. There is uh, the neighbors, a few neighbors' houses are getting worked on. So hopefully it's not too noisy for everyone. But we had this fence and we put dirt behind it. We actually have planted some strawberries along there. Um, but I think we're gonna have to take some dirt out. Oh, and we have a, a grape there. We're gonna have to take some dirt out because if you can see this, the fence is leaning a little bit. So we're just gonna take some dirt out and hopefully it'll put less pressure on this. As you can see some strawberries are planted. Um, and then we have some blueberries we're gonna plant in here and some kiwi that we're gonna plant. We also have these two apple trees. And I, I know one is a uh, honey crisp. I think they might both be, but there's the other one. So it's a little messy um, only because we're still working on it. And a few things have shifted since the last time we worked on this, but pretty much here's like the overview. So there's like, a winding uh, rock walkway and then there's mulch uh, this bench will be like over here where, where that little pole is right there there's going to be um, this windmill right there which is what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like it's really pretty um, and we're gonna have this pond set up. The pond's already in. We just gotta fix the rock wall over there and then fix the pump in it and clean it out. So we have a few plants already planted. We just gotta put some mulch in and uh, clean up like this plant died. We'll see if it comes back. Um, but then just put some mulch down. This is a, a butterfly bush and we have a whole bank of lilies right here. Uh, they're just your traditional orange lilies, but most of them I think are actually double flowered. And we have some rose bushes. Well, we always have thorns always trying to come through, but we do have a rose bush. I think this actually is a rose bush too. Yeah, but then you can see all the little thorns over here. That also is a um, butterfly bush. So, just want to give you an update. We're probably going to be getting some plants to go in like just the mulch areas because really we're already going to be having so much plants like come in here. I think the kiwi is going to go in here in the strawberries. I know the kiwi will get pretty large vines like and it'll be a very big cluster. So we'll have some plants going along in here. We'll have some mulch and plants here as well. Um, the bench will be about right here along with the windmill and the two apple trees we actually want to take out of the planters and I don't know if we're gonna replace that to a Sharon because we think it's dead um, either that or we're just gonna plant them along here um, and then put some more plants here put some mulch down and I think this area is pretty covered as far as plant wise we're just gonna put the mulch down to make it look better the only thing we've got to see is because there was probably some annuals planted like that's probably an annual and that plant back there so we may have to replace a few plants but for the most part this area as far as plants is pretty covered so this is pretty much the beginning look of it and I will keep updating y'all throughout the time that we work on it. So, and also we will be getting some plants today and I will update you when we get those plants 
where the plants are, what they look like, and where we're going to put them. Oh, and I'll also give you a little tour of our other gardens. So, this box is actually a uh, vegetable box, but we are going to take that down because it's just, it's just not in the right place. Um, as you can tell, we took some dirt out to put back here behind this fence. It's just not in the right place. I mean, the vegetables grew fine, but we have another flower bed back there. And it's just like too little of a space right here. And we don't want anybody falling down. So we're going to take that out, move it somewhere else. We may or may not still have it. Um, and then this bed up top is flowers. So I'll take you up there. Okay, and so we're here. This is what it looks like. Um, the lilies always come up first. So it's taking me a second to get up here. Okay, so we have different types of lilies right here. Um, I think this one's like a peach and something else. Those are spiderweb lilies. Of course, not all the plants have came through. This is kind of just the beginning, of course, because we're here in the beginning of the spring. Oh, trying to catch my breath. And sorry if you can't see anything as well because it is a pretty dreary day here, but it's fine. And here's some hostas. And these are, yeah, these are the black eyed Susans. So we have a whole cluster of black eyed Susans right here. And we do normally have dahlias that pop up through here. Normally, especially being here in the mountains in North Carolina, you have to dig up the bulbs in order for them to last because we get so cold it kind of freezes them uh but most of the time they pop through so and if they don't we normally just we plant more so here's some more hostas more lilies more hostas and over here this little cluster it's not fully came through but these clusters are daisies so normally we have like, I think last year there were some plants missing there just where the dahlias didn't come up, but we'll also, you know, eventually fill those places in. So this needs to be uh, mulched and we do plan on doing that soon, but this is kind of like, I'm giving you an overview of like, I guess a spring, like pre-garden kind of prep video. Um, oh yeah, you can see where a dahlia was last year. That's the uh, stalks cut off there so this is our main flower garden and normally whenever it gets when it's in full bloom it is full we normally give flowers away so that box will be gone at some point this year and then we'll have the flowers and more that's more of like a uh, like a nice chill kind of walkway garden down there that's what that's going to be it's going to be really nice once the bench and everything set in the the uh plants are in and the pond set up it's just going to be really nice and the perfect touch is like the little gate to the walkthrough that's going to be beautiful okay so we also have this garden over here we, we our main gardens are lilies so we have lilies there um a azalea yeah azalea there some easter lilies a hosta trying to grow and we have an, a covered by the lilies we have a small sorry my fingers are going crazy uh azalea i think it's a dwarf azalea and then over there we have some kind of other lily and then right here was a little bush planted memorial of a cat that i had passed away this big beautiful tree is a red bud but this specific one is a forest pansy so you can see like i'll try to get a zoom up but you see like well the buds are pretty much gone but you see like these little these little red leaves so it'll get red it'll get those kind of bigger round almost heart shaped leaves like regular red buds do but these will stay red all year they normally have these really cute like pink purple buds but i don't really see any that much but let's see i can give you more of an overview it's a pretty big but small tree kind of it's very wide okay i guess that's more of the words this is a very there you go wide cute little tree i'm gonna put some mulch down there just some 
uh, another garden bed. We got a mulch shop. These are some new plants we got uh, last year. I don't know what they are, but they get really pretty. Um, and these are just irises. And those are being overrun by weeds. Those lilies and those lilies, we've got to fix them up. So this is kind of our pre-spring look. It can be a little mulchless and seem a little empty, but once spring kicks up for us, these are some, I forgot what they're called, but they get like red in the winter fall time and they turn green in spring and summer, I think. Um, but this is kind of an overview where you, what our yard looks like. We have these, um, what are the Sharon's going up, uh, on both sides of the driveway. This side's the longest. We have them planted throughout, like, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's a different bush right there because one died and we just planted another type of bush. There's one and there's one. And then in that part, I have a hydrangea growing. And then we have a, another hydrangea and a, uh, yellow bell. And then... Over there, we have another Rosa Sharon. So, this is kind of our pre spring look. This is how things look, and then I'll try give you an update once uh, throughout the process or once everything's mulched and starts blooming. Um, that's what everything looks like. Oh, and on this bank, yeah, the dirt's not so good on, on this side. So, there's like just it's very bare. So, we try to put a bunch of plants down here. Like here's a gorgeous azalea. We have azalea there. This, by the way, is the duck coop. It's a little messy right now because I've not been able to get out and uh, fix it. Because I normally fix it a couple times. I want at least once or twice a year, just kind of reconfigurate everything. Um, but we normally have bees. Um, some things happened last year, and uh, they just they got uh, these like little mites on them. They're like itty bitty little like mites and they actually kill them but that's our bee boxes um we'll get some more this year there's another azalea lily 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 azalea lily and i don't know if you'll be able to tell but like right here is one and i'll try to take you a little closer but i'll zoom you in but like there is one and like there and there and there there's like uh raspberries yeah there's some neighbors working on some trees down there so it's blocked off so everyone's having to turn around up here um but yeah that's some raspberries and we're hoping that the bees will eat off of the raspberries like the flowers like get the pollen and it'll be like a raspberry kind of honey and then also for us we can make jams sell the raspberries and things like that so that's a quick little update of our pre-spring um and i'll show you one of the ducks while we're over here this is my maddie i call her maddie patty she's very scared but she's so cute. She's a Welsh Hawkwin. She's the youngest. She's actually full grown. She's, she's just smaller than the other ducks. I know she looks like a full size duck, but compared to my other three ducks, which are probably in the neighbor's yard, she's, she's pretty small, but she's really sweet. Hey Maddie. Hi Maddie. Hi. Hi. Hi baby. <laughs> They're so sweet. Yeah, I gotta do some things. It just rained and it's just gloomy in here. It's probably gonna rain again, so the, the pool's pretty muddy. You can kind of see their coop. I made it out of um, an old fence and then some ply, plywood board. Just a little decorations. The door is falling apart, but see, that's what I'm saying. I gotta fix it up a little. But the thing about ducks, though, is you can fix it up, make it look nice, and it's all muddy and messed up, like just a couple days later. <laughs> So, it's a little bit of a progress trying to keep things clean for ducks. But, <laughs> thank God I have family that helps me. So, that's kind of a, a little spring overview. A little update of what goes on here. Yeah, she's drinking from the dirty pool. Honey, do you not have some water? Maddie, Maddie. <laughs> 
Okay, I know, I know. She actually excludes herself from the other ducks. When we got her, she was with a, a chicken, so she kind of just excludes herself. Well, I guess we'll end the video. Oh, sorry, my hair. <laughs> we will end the video there. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun uh, yard garden flower up, uh, spring update so if you would like to you could like this video if you liked it subscribe press the subscribe button and you will find more of my videos and you uh just help me make more videos by doing that and press the bell button if you would like to know whenever i do post videos i try to do it twice a week so just keep up with it for that Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful evening and enjoy your spring weekend. Bye!